What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of the Cubcast, our new near enough daily uh, news series we are running, looking at different international music stories, um, again, from around the world, which is always very exciting. Again, you guys have been so responsive to this section, so we're trying to bring you as many news articles as we possibly can, looking into different stories and discussions, sometimes lists and top fives and things like that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these so far. As always, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on of course leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff today is of course friday it is release day and boy do we have some exciting stuff to dive into um we're going to be talking about a new artist that is exploding um an artist that has apparently been under the radar working away behind uh, the label doors for a hot minute now but this is a very exciting thing as we see the debutant of uh, boy spice topping at the nigerian um, apple music charts with his debut ep self-titled boy spice Spice. This is a phenomenal achievement, I've got to say. Now, just to kind of dive into what we're going to be discussing here, there's a few really interesting things to bring up. Obviously, Boy Spice is a brand new artist. He's someone who's been kind of being worked on behind closed doors at Maven Records for a hot minute, and they have such a huge history of kind of pushing artists forward with what they do. Don Jazzy is an incredible kind of pioneer in what he does. The way he gives uh, uh, different artists platforms, the way he's able to push them, the way he's able to link them up with the right producers, and also help them cement their personalized sound right from the jump with this boy spice ep it's very very clear that boy spice has a very particular direction with the sound he's putting together and it's so exciting to watch um more than anything else again prior to this i hadn't heard of him i hadn't heard anything he'd done um and the fact that off the back of this he's literally exploded and within 12 hours of the ep launching it was at number one on the apple music charts for nigeria which is an insane accomplishment um for a brand new artist incredible stuff i mean the closest we've seen with this is fave getting i think to number four i think she got to uh with her debut ep but that took a couple of weeks um this is incredible for a debut ep to actually get this high up and when we look at the competition um as you'll be able to see on the screen this is the current um apple music top 10 in nigeria which is absolutely phenomenal you look at the competition first and foremost i've got a shout out to rd because rd is currently in 11th and he is from brighton so big up rd each and every time uh, it's the same place that i'm from in the uk um but you look at the other people that are on this on this list it's absolutely incredible Incredible. Considering how popular that Cruel Santino project was, that's only in 17th. When you look at the fact that uh, T.I. Blaze's new project, Fresh Prince of Lagos, is still in 12th. You look at the fact that um, Kids Daniel's Barnabas is still in this conversation. Made in Lagos is still in this conversation. But the exciting thing... Um is realistically how many, uh, well, not how many newcomers, but the uh, kind of feeling we get towards the top five. You see Asake with Olala Day, uh, Asake in fifth. Coffee's Gifted uh, uh, LP, I think it is classed as an LP or an album. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's about 10 tracks. Um, Gifted, which is obviously hugely popular on a global level. That's in fourth. Uh, Ashes uh, 5 is in third. Rema Raven Roses, one of the biggest projects to actually land this year, is already pushed out of the top spot by this new uh, Boy Spice album. We really need to kind of give some credit where credit is due here this new Rema project um, has been phenomenal the explosion of it's been phenomenal bear in mind the collaborations involved in that project are absolutely intense um, but then you get Boy Spice coming out of seemingly nowhere the planning has been fantastic one music video that dropped today uh, that we did react to and that's on the channel and he's already number one on this chart like it's incredible and look when we, when we look back over the history of what um, what Maven Records have done they've worked with the likes of T with Savage One Day Cole Ricardo Banks Ayanya um, and these are all um, pretty previous relationships you then look at the likes of johnny drill ladipo uh, dna crayon um era star magics and even rema himself is involved in this list so it's uh, absolutely fantastic to see also just looking at this list i've just clocked there big up to uh, majid in uh, 18th place that's great to see from him i'm a massive fan of what majid does as well but again another newcomer but this is all about talking about boy spice when we reacted to um the project again i think the project only has five or six tracks on it so it's not like a, a case of the fact that m multiple tunes are getting multiple streams there's only five on there which i believe is only one more than the uh, olala de asake ep and again it's absolutely outspinning that all three of these albums here have numerously um more uh, tracks on there like so many more tracks which gives them a higher kind of stream ratio but when you then look at the fact that every single one of these has actually been pushed down a place um, including Made in Lagos has been pushed down a place by this new Boy Spice um, EP. It's absolutely phenomenal to see. And I've got to say, it's another fantastic victory for uh, Maven Records. The fact they are continuing to push new talent forward. Again, I'm pretty sure that Maven released the uh, Raven Roses album, unless I'm entirely mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's a Maven product. Um, 
Again, let me know in the comments down below if I am wrong. That's just off the top of my head. I seem to remember that being a thing. If it's not, my apologies. But again, it's uh, it's an incredible achievement. Like when we actually look through this, are Maven starting to actually dominate in this kind of environment? Are Maven the actual platform you now want to go to if you are pushing a new, if you are a new artist pushing through? Is Maven the kind of dream goal to sign? I saw we did a uh, a recent report that they are the highest selling, I believe, in um, across across the entirety of Africa right now, and it's so awesome to see, especially when they are pushing forward these fantastic new acts. Again, if you have haven't already do go and check out the full ep um phenomenal i had a little listen through it this morning we reacted to one of the tracks already um and that is now available to check out on the uh, channel so do go and give that one a view and let us know your thoughts on the reaction again the thing i immediately liked about boy spice was a sense of individuality um more than anything else in the way that he projects, the way that he's able actually to kind of cushion his vocals, the way he's able to have this really kind of softened texture in a higher range, but also have a couple of lower notes hitting home as well. Overall, this is such a cool thing to be able to see. Um, but again, is there are there tunes from Boy Spice that I should have heard about prior to this? Is there any kind of history that I should have heard prior to this? After looking for a few of the comments and asking a few people um, I know inside the industry, they've all kind of said, yeah, that's a project that's been going on for a long period of time behind closed doors. It's one that's been kind of worked away on um, and also that Maven Records are obviously a label that like to kind of uh, hold, hold on to these artists and, and really push them forward um, but again another really positive thing here is obviously you've currently got number one and number five brand new artists um, for this year which is really exciting to see I love looking at progression I love looking at um, things moving forward more than anything else and this is a fantastic example of that in motion but there we go guys hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video uh, celebrating the uh, the arrival of Boy Spice who I'm sure is going to be doing absolutely bits over the coming uh, weeks, months and years. Um, let's see how long the longevity reigns. I'm really excited to look forward to it. As always, let me know your thoughts in the uh, comments section down below. Again, if, if there's a Boy Spice tune that I should have known from back in the day, let me know and I'll check it out. Alongside this as well, how far do you think Boy Spice can go following on from this EP? Also, let me know your thoughts on the EP. Again, this channel is all about giving you, you guys giving an opinion as much as uh, I do. And don't forget, we are going to be live on Requested Live this evening from 5pm here on the channel. So don't forget to tune into uh, uh, that one if you haven't already alongside this if you are new to the channel and you want to support make sure you are hitting the uh, patreon.com forward slash cubcam tv link in the description down below you can uh, gain access to exclusive content requested reactions and you can also vote on upcoming dj content as well as album listens we're currently working through burner boy african giants so that's the one we're doing at the moment but you could vote on the next one however that's it from me guys hopefully you have enjoyed this video and we shall see you all next time have a fantastic afternoon enjoy your friday and peace Oh, oh, sound them sounding so good right now But the sound in a bright and town Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now Cop Cam TV Stay locked <laughs>